All right, guys, it's Shalon, and I have been away testing Fractured for the last couple of weeks, and it has been a blast. That's why I haven't been putting out any YouTube videos. I wanted to talk to you about Fractured today. I want to say it's really cool that Prometheus has been showing up during my live streams. Uh, he's been answering some questions for the community, uh, giving me lots of alpha keys to give out, and he sometimes wants to taunt me to going to places on the map with lots of new mobs and lots of new abilities, and we've been out there and it's been fun. But I want to give a shout out to Dynamite Studios and how they do their testing. Big thing here is when you log in, you know exactly what is being tested in this testing cycle. So this is the Spring Alpha 2021. Uh, we are doing testing on radical changes to the player cities and the introduction of the tech tree, the city marketplace, the, v the PvP rule sets, nations and city conquests, and a ton of graphical improvements. So let's jump in a game and let's take a look at the first part of this. So a big part of Fractured is the town building aspect of the game. And you can see I currently live in a very robust town. We have basically everything a town can have, except we don't have our prison yet. We do have our palisades up. We've got our defenses. So this is a very guild or group based game. I'm going to say guild, even though you could do this with a group of random strangers, it would be a whole lot more difficult. So as I swing, uh, as I swing back into my town hall, that tech tree that we've been talking about, uh, the tech tree is really, really impressive so far. Each of those buildings that you saw us build comes from researching a research point. Uh, so our tailoring building, it required us to make an investment, leather working the same way. Some of them are more complicated when you want to get into blacksmithing. Blacksmithing breaks out to advanced smelting, plate armors, advanced weaponry, and uh, eventually jewelry. If you want to have access to those things, you're going to need the research points. It will eventually come to the point where you will not have enough points for everything, and you're going to have to do some specializations. Now, interestingly enough, when Prometheus was on my show uh, in, the, in the audience, he talked about how they're already going to be changing things for the next test. And that's a major win for game development, both on the side of the players and the developers. Knowing that there's data-driven uh, decisions being made, they're taking feedback from the players, they're listening, even if they don't agree, they at least acknowledge uh, you've, you've just told him, you've talked to him, he, he doesn't necessarily have to agree, but they're at least going to make some changes. Now, the other thing that is in this test, and I will show you, is the politics system is here. We have Sprocketania, and the city name in here is Sprockerton. Unfortunately, we live out here in the upper northwest, and there are no neighboring towns for us to link up with. So no nation for us, and Sprocket is very sad. The other thing that we got in this test was the updated marketplace. Uh, of course, Sprocketton made it a priority to get our market. Like, nice, nice little open area. The interesting thing is you come here and you can buy resources. Now, it wouldn't seem like a game that's going to be based about around resources would be hard to develop these things. However, in just a minute, we're going to talk about the loot drop and the criminal activities and having a marketplace really allows you to get your uh your economy set up and it also lets you sell gear back to the people when you kill them which is really just a cherry on top of great gameplay and pvp having repercussions now as far as the pvp rule set and the criminal activity all sort of changed. We got a developer update on this. It is an alpha, the game is in progress, and they are planning on having a jail system. So when we come down here to bounty hunting, one thing right away that may catch your attention is that there is a jail time for up to 12 to 48 hours. And I'm going to say right off the bat, I am not sure if I agree with this, I do know that we need some sort of system to stop random ganking because ganking is already getting out of control and this is already an alpha test. 
I've already had a lot of people come to me and say fractured is a complete turnoff for them because uh, of a, of a lot of the pieces in fractured. And this is, of course, always the pitfall of an open world PvP game. But coupled with the fact that fractured is an open world PvP game with full loot drop, uh, fractured is going to have to make a decision of how niche they want to make their game. And I say that because they're going to have open world PvP with full loot drop and they're going to impose a 12 to 48 hour jail time or your guild or yourself you can buy yourself you can bail yourself out of jail however that doesn't do anything for the victim when you start talking about 16 hours of curing time on leather or four hours on smelting time for ingots you're talking a lot of time invested and that's part of where that market is going to come in but Having full loot drop and these lengths of time, I feel is really just establishing a rage quit, never come back sort of equation. Now, Fractured does have a militia system that will allow people to engage in PvP. And I really believe Dynamite Studios needs to look at what New World has done with an opt-in system for PvP, but then figure out a way to add a carrot, some sort of incentive into that militia system. Now, as I mentioned, nations are a thing in work. They are in the game. They are, they are functional. They are moving forward. They're a very interesting concept. They tie in directly to what Prometheus was saying about city specializations and what you might have is you might have a city that specializes in, say, mage equipment. You might have a city that specializes in, say, uh, melee equipment, or you might have a forward moving out city area that it, it, that specializes in warfare, allowing you to conquer more and more cities. Finally, the graphics improvement section, Prometheus did an explanation video on this, which I highly recommend that you check out. I won't do too much about talking about the graphics improvements other than to say, yes, I see them. Yes, I feel that the graphics have improved. Uh, but I, I will give you a link in the description below to the video that Prometheus did because you kind of have to have seen how the graphics were uh, and then what they've done to improve it. I will also say that uh, Dynamite Studios uh, being selected as one of the top game development studios from Global Top Round will help them get a little bit of extra money. They're going to be able to bring on a animator and another programmer and then they will... Uh, be able to start developing a little faster. If you don't remember uh, this, uh, in Dynamite Studios has built their game with 500,000 euros and an eight person development team. And that is it for today. I am sorry I'm not appearing on screen. I am not 100%. I am not feeling well. Uh, and what I will say is, unfortunately, I do not have any more alpha keys to give out. But if you're a fan of isometric games, make sure to check out Fractured. I have some links in the description below. And if you decide that you are going to back Fractured, I'll remind you that code Jalan will save you 10% at checkout. Just a little way to help the community save a few dollars when they are backing this game. And I will, of course, see you the next time I'm streaming Fractured. I've put a couple of links in the description to some uh, streaming that I did if you want to check out some gameplay. Uh, and then I will see you guys next time. I say, Sprocket, we've reached the end of another video. Time to thank the sponsors. Yes, that will do, that will do. Shall we pop off for a sport of tea?